Welcome and good evening. My name is Dee Horn. I'm an English professor at the University of Northern British Columbia. With respect and thanks, I acknowledge the traditional and unceded territories of the Coast Salish, Comox, and Temex Treaty Association, where I now live and from where I am speaking. I also want to thank PAMLA and its organizers and sponsors, the chairs, and my fellow panelists, as well as our audience. Pandemic. Cloistered in, confined to home. Outside, cherry blossoms wave to rhododendrons. Neither mind incessant rain. Petals litter sidewalks, soft carpet of cherry blossoms become compost. Precarity. The path's not clear in this pandemic. Virus once unknown, now near, traveled from pangolin to humans. Every moment is precarious. Locked down, locked in, people wonder when work will resume. Every moment is precarious. Streets deserted, businesses closed. All that once was is now nearly foreclosed. Every moment is precarious. Contagion of fears circulate and escalate, viral shedding of ideas mutate. Injustice breeds creative changes. Every moment is precious. The following poem is in the form of a pantoum, also set to music by composer Grant Freeman. Uh, <clears throat> it's called Avalanche. Injustice accumulates like snow avalanches thundering defiance accumulates like snow tumbling clouds thundering defiance definitely loud tumbling clouds suffocating voices definitely loud silence choices suffocating voices beneath weight of white silence choices buried but not quite beneath weight of white voices will not remain buried but not quite still cry out Voices will not remain restrained, silent, still cry, out, swim through snow to surface, restrained, silenced in terrain, greatly changed, swim through snow to surface, dark to light. In terrain greatly changed, those former powers dark to light exposed. Those former powers just ice exposed injustice. The last poem is about the Salish Sea, which is the background where I'm standing here. Endangered Relations, it's called. 150 million years ago, continental plates converge, collide, and fold into sedimentary rocks. A million years ago, a depression creates strait, surrounded by mountains, shifting Salish Sea, tides rise and fall, circulating currents counterclockwise, navigational hazards, ships battered. Glass sponge reefs, giant octopus, arms spread over two meters. Ancient red sea urchins live over 150 years. Geoduck clams as long as 168. Most wonders strange are sequential hermaphrodites, oysters, spot prongs, slipper shells, start out male, become female, while sponges and flatworms can be male and female simultaneously. 50,000 indigenous people meet, settlers come to convert and pray, lay claim to land and sea. Finger-like fjords, once barriers, become global highway. Coal and copper mines, pulp mills, smell of money, fills land, streams, rivers, sea. Ferries, residents, and tourists seeking refuge. Wilderness is now Vancouver exurb, recreation and retreat, marketing feat. Developers and realtors compete, habitats soon bulldozed, replaced by concrete. Coal and copper mines, pulp mills shut down, PCBs, furins, dioxins circulate, leave a toxic legacy even beyond Puget Sound, microplastics and PBDEs accumulate, cod, halibut, coho, and chinook salmon decline, sockeye and pink are not far behind. Sea home for the largest octopus, barnacles, anemones, face rising temperatures and heat domes, with warming trends expected to continue, 
Some marine species may thrive, others may migrate north or die. Acidic inland sea, levels rising, shellfish dying. Sands and sea shift, changing atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide, changes the air-sea balance, yet another relational rift, endangered relations. Humans take and take, now make management and recovery initiatives, place sensors on ferries, document harmful algal blooms, and elements that influence phytoplankton growth and their seasonal cycles. Dolphins and killer whales return, suffer bioaccumulation, high concentrations of chemical pollutants invade their and our tissues, fragile ecosystems remain precarious. Thank you for listening.